in our last video we installed our live wire component and now we have a component file and view file and most of the changes that we do are going to be in these two files only so let us work on the pagination first of all i am going to import the model the item model and in order to implement pagination i need to use this trait with pagination and this would include this file at the top and now i'm going to create the items variable and i only want to fetch those items which belongs to the authenticated user so i'm going to have this where clause on the user id and i can fetch the user using the auth helper and then i'm going to paginate 10 records at a time i'm going to pass this items variable to the view this works the same way as it would work in a normal view next we are going to work on this view file i'm going to open up this welcome.play.php and copy these few lines so as to match the design i'll remove this div and here i will have the headings as items and i'm going to close this div and here i will have a div and i'm going to give it a margin top of 6 and here i'm going to create the table and i will give it tailwind classes of table auto and width of full now i will have this d body tag and now within this tr i'm going to define all my headings i will give the heading the class of padding x of 4 and padding y of 2 and within them i will have a div with class of flex and item center and i'm going to call it id I'll copy this one and paste it over here and this would be name this would be price and then I'll have another heading this would be for status and the last one would be for action all right now I will have the the body tag here i would loop through the items using the forage tag i'll close the tag over here and for each item i would have a row and i will define a dd with tailwind classes of border padding and this would be id item slash id i'm going to copy it and this would be name this would be price and i'm also going to format it using the number format method which is a php method and i'll pass it second parameter of two and this would be status and if the status is true i would display yes otherwise i would display no in fact let me change this to active and not active as that makes more sense and finally within the action column i would have a edit and delete button i'm going to keep them as it is for the time being 
i'll come back to them in the later videos and finally we need to have the pagination links i'll create another div and give it some top margin and i can define the links like this and now if i reload the browser this seems to be working fine however we have a html tag issue if i reload it again and this is working fine and if we check the pagination that is also working fine even though the url is changing we can see that it is the ajax pagination